everybody, Jeff here. Welcome back. So today I am going to talk to you about an extremely important topic, which is not the most exciting topic, but it is extremely important and it's something that we all probably need a little bit of extra help with, and that is record keeping and taking notes. In my opinion, it is the most important thing you can do to ensure your success. Because if you didn't write down what you did, you have no idea what worked and what didn't and what to do next year or what to change if something didn't turn out the way you thought it did. So kind of the key for me is anytime I am doing something with a crop, whether that is seeding, transplanting, fertilizing, moving things to different areas, I just write a quick note in my notebook. I highly recommend everybody get a couple of notebooks for when you're growing, just again to help keep track. But I write a quick note. I generally write what the day it was, the time of day, what the weather was like, and kind of like the numbers that I was working with. And that's about it. It just is a quick, quick, easy record of what I did that day. And if I have to check on something later in the season, or I'm planning next season and I want to look back, I have an easy record. It's not super involved, but it helps immensely. As well, it's great to check, take a note of what the weather's doing a couple times during each month. I'm in the Pacific Northwest and our weather can change dramatically. So every month, kind of at least once a week, I could do a little bit of a weather check-in and just make a quick note of what the weather was like, what the average temperature was like during that week. And that really helps in subsequent seasons, planning for seeding, planning for hardening off, planning for when you're putting things in the ground, just so you kind of know how the previous weather for last year worked. It helps so much planning your crops in the next season. Another thing I like to take notes of is harvest numbers. So once pretty much everything's done and I'm ready to harvest, just taking note of kind of what everything looked like, what condition the vegetables were in or the fruits were in, how the numbers worked out compared to what they kind of you know, are predicted to by the seed companies, just how the harvests look. That's another really good thing to make note of, just so you know, did it work out for you? Do you want to try again next year? Did something that you do maybe affect your harvests? Another thing to take really good note of is pests or diseases or any crop issues that you had specifically. That's another super, super important thing to take note of. Anything that didn't go the way you wanted or anything they had an issue with or anything weird that happened, it's really important to write down because it's not going to be a surprise next season if it happens again. Again, it's super, super simple. It's a really, really easy concept to wrap our heads around taking notes, but it's not the funnest or most interesting thing. Oh, I've got a little spider on my hat. It's not the most fun or the most interesting job, but it is the most important in my mind. It's going to help you the most in the next seasons and it is going to give you the best chance of having the best crops you can so I highly highly recommend taking notes I highly highly recommend getting a notebook and again anytime you're doing something with a crop anytime the weather changes or anytime something happens that you didn't want to happen I highly highly recommend writing it down but that is it that is my tips for today I Hope you took note, pun intended. I hope you learned something and whatever you are doing today, have an amazing day. I hope you like, follow, and subscribe to our channel, but whatever you do, you are still awesome.